Hello guys, let's talk about running demanding SVGA DOS games on a modern computer. And I'm not talking about DOSBox, I'm talking about uh, free DOS, so the real deal. And Phil's Computer Lab, he released a very interesting video called uh, Running Demanding DOS Games on Affordable Hardware. And he went with an Ethnon X2 along with the Sound Blaster Live. The problem with his recommendation is that it's no longer a good idea and you're most likely going to end up with a motherboard that is uh, that comes with the Enforce chipset and PCI sound cards are basically not going to work on it. I covered it on my channel in a previous video but basically the best case scenario is that you will get working FM music, terrible FM music and broken DMA sound, so not a good experience uh, to game on. So my recommendation is that you just use SBMU and you pick up uh, an old Dell like I did here and you game on this thing. So, I mean, there's no reason why you should go with an Athlonic suit that basically might not work and might take a lot of fiddling. Uh, a Dell, I mean, I set up my Dell in like four hours and I had a perfect working setup with good SVG performance in higher resolutions and good coverage of SVGA resolutions as well. And I didn't even need a dedicated graphics card for, for that. So keep that in mind. So anyway, uh, watch uh, a few DOS games that run on this thing and enjoy.
Drivers ready! Engines ready! Go!
So what do I think of this computer? Well, I think for the price I got it and the fact that I was going with a common PC and one that was very cheap to buy, I think you will also be happy uh, if you end up with such a setup. I mean, basically, you don't really need to spend like two grand on a 386. And honestly, that's for the better. The only issues that I have with it is basically software related. So SBMU doesn't support uh, CD music. It also doesn't support uh, MIDI sound. So uh, even though we do have soft MPU, unfortunately, you need hardware to, uh, to use soft MPU. And such hardware is actually very rare. So the only way to emulate MIDI is it's going to be through software, unfortunately. So, uh, I mean, it will happen eventually. But for now, I think we have a pretty good solution. And we can play most games, most of the games that matter anyway. And SVGA performance on this computer is also very good if if you use a utility called MTRR LFBE and that enables right combining on this chip. Now this will not work beyond Broadwell. So uh, if you try this on the KB Lake PC, uh, the tool will just freeze and crash. So be warned. So thank you for watching and bye.